Hello and welcome to this brief tutorial from biggerplate.com showing you how to begin building mind maps using MindNode for Mac. As a general rule of thumb, when you're looking to add nodes to your map, you want to either be using the return key or the tab key. So you'd use the return key to create nodes on the same level that you're currently working on. So for example, if I click on this node here that says return and then I hit the return key, it gives me what we call a sibling node, so a node on the same level. Alternatively, if I wanted to build outwards, I can use the tab key. So if I click on tab, and hit the tab key, this gives us what we call a child node. And I can continue to build out with more and more child nodes as much as I like. The other option you have is to use the this little plus icon here, which if I click on that, you'll see it creates another child node just below. Or alternatively, if you want to specify where exactly your new node is going to go, you can click and drag the plus icon and you can decide. So let's put it above there and we'll say that's another child node. Now to move your nodes around, you simply click and drag them. So for example, if I click on the click and drag node, I can then move it to say the node below, selecting multiple nodes. And all I have to do is just hover it over and it'll detach and re-add there. If you wanted to move multiple at the same time, you could click and drag to select multiple like so, or you can hold the command key and select multiple like that. And then again, same effect if I then drag these back and let's say reattach them to this node, they'll both appear there instead. To delete nodes, it's as you would probably expect. You simply click on the node you wish to delete and hit the backspace key. Now, if you've got a lot of information on your map and you want to hide things that maybe aren't relevant to you right now, you can fold nodes away. So you may see here on the folding nodes node, try saying that very quickly 10 times, there's this little marker here with three dots. And if I click on that, it'll open up more nodes that I've created earlier. And I've just written here in a very scattered way to hide lots of information, you can fold nodes. Now to fold away these nodes, you simply hit option and period on the parent node. So as you can see, we're currently highlighting this node here. And if I hit option period, it'll hide them all away in there. I can then reinstate them with that same shortcut option period, or I can hit this little marker here and they'll be reinstated. It's just a useful way of hiding information. If you've got a map with a lot of information on it and you wanna focus on the things that are really relevant, you can just hide away things that you don't need right then. Hopefully this is enough to just get you started using MindNode for Mac. For more MindNode templates, tutorials and training, visit biggerplate.com.